So hi guys and this is Pavni. So in this video we are going to see how to score 300 plus in anthropology. Okay. So how to score 300 plus. Yeah. So this is our video and in this topic only we are going to discuss. So the first question that comes into our mind is so why we need to score 300 plus so why? Why we have to score 300 plus in anthropology, right? So anthropology is basically an optional subject. So in optional, it is mandatory to score 300 plus, right? If you score 300 plus, then only you can at least attend interview or else there is a higher chances that you clear the exam, right? So that's why we have to score 300 plus in anthropology or any others optional. But in anthropology, it is very easy, very, very easy to score 300 plus, right? So now we'll see why it is very easy and what are the tips and what are the basic strategy to score 300 plus, okay? And I myself score 300 plus. So guys, come on and let's get started. So the first tip is if you are a complete beginner, right so if you are a complete beginner and you don't know what to do and you are in this confused state right like this right you don't know what to do what to read and all so if you are a complete beginner first of all the first thing you have to do is you need to gain the conceptual clarity right this is most important so conceptual clarity so what is the meaning of this conceptual clarity right so whatever is there in the syllabus whatever topics are there in the syllabus each and on each and every topic you need to have the concepts you need to know the concepts and you need to be aware of all those concepts you need to have a clarity right so that is more important okay the first thing is conceptual clarity okay so if you have that conceptual clarity then only you can have the clear understanding of the subject right then only you can understand what is anthropology what are the topics in the anthropology what is what and all right then only you can write very good answers without conceptual clarity and without anything without a good sound knowledge you cannot write good answers okay and so most of the students i'll be seeing you know they are in a very much hurry to complete the syllabus right you know very very hurry whatever is there they used to know something they used to refer book no no need of no need to be in a hurry okay so whatever is there you need to understand and read so that is more important okay gaining conceptual clarity is at most important and the first important tip to score 300 plus in anthropology okay so again the question comes how to gain this conceptual clarity right so how to how can we gain this what is the strategy for this right so yes you can easily gain the conceptual clarity so in order to gain this first of all you have to take your syllabus sheet right so in that syllabus you have to divide the syllabus into topics so each and every topic right let's say in your physical anthropology you are having uh, many topics like edward syndrome gene therapy or like you know evolution dole's law right so dole's law so on each and every topic you have to gain the conceptual clarity so what is this dole's law all about and how it is useful to us and how the man evolved right in this way you have to read the syllabus first read the syllabus and divide the syllabus into each and topic each and every topic okay so each day every day if you cover one topic then it's fine so easily you can cover the syllabus right so not only in physical anthropology if you take your socio-cultural anthropology you will be talking about marriage family so what is marriage what is family so in marriage what are the prescriptive rules what are the proscriptive rules on so each and every day read about prescriptive rules read about proscriptive rules okay so first thing is not only for your optional for anything please divide it into topics okay 
so if you divide into topics then you can easily understand and you can easily know okay today i have covered this topic and tomorrow i'll be covering that topic okay so in this way you can gain the conceptual clarity on each and every topic you will have the clarity okay but please don't be in a hurry to cover the syllabus you have to understand each and every topic of the syllabus and there is no way that the the questions will be out of syllabus okay generally they will stick to the syllabus okay and the most important um, thing about anthropology is you know the syllabus is somewhat static okay and there are there are lot of repetitive of the questions so previous 10 years papers if you take there is lot of repetition so because of this you can easily gain 300 plus okay so in order to get conceptual clarity first you have to divide the syllabus into topics okay so generally the students will be asking about the books so right so for anthropology also for the first paper there are five books and for the second paper there are around two to three books right so the question comes should we read from page one to page last right if the page one to the book is having 300 pages from first page to last page right it's, this is most of the students will have this doubt right so no need to read from cover to cover no need for optionals okay so in this case please stick to your syllabus okay whatever topic is there in your syllabus please read that topic from that particular book if let's say if i tell you to read a uh, social anthropology by mother and mazumda right so in mother and mazumda what are the topics present right in our syllabus only those topics you have to read so mother and mazumda might contain some other topics which is which are not there in our syllabus no need to read those things okay so which are present in our syllabus that things only you have to read from those book list so don't get panicked by seeing all those book lists like paper one five to six books and paper two around uh, three to four books oh my god should i read all these books no you have to stick to your syllabus so whatever topic is present in our syllabus we have to read that only from those books okay so most of the students will have a doubt uh, like you know we need to read ember and ember or not right so ember and ember is a good book to start with okay and you can start with this book uh, this will induce a kind of interest in anthropology it's a very good book but no questions will come from this book okay only certain things are relevant to our syllabus only certain things but if you read this complete book you will have an overall idea what is an anthropology and it will be somewhat interesting so from our exam perspective from this book you can take certain international examples okay international tribal examples rather we can say okay you can take some international tribal examples and you can quote it in your i mean in you can quote it in your uh, topics or you can quote it in the exam where you can get score good marks okay so ember and ember is only a good book to start with from the exam point of view it has a least relevance only it is used to develop interest within you okay guys so generally the students will be asking the doubts like how to make in notes should we have to make the notes for optionals or not right yes for optionals you have to make the notes why why you have to make the notes because mainly in optional you are writing mains right it is you are not getting any prelims questions or something like that right you are having you have to write the descriptive answers okay in that particular case it is better to make the notes and the first question is how to make the notes right so how to how can we make our notes more rich and comprehensive so here are the tips okay so first you have to make notes from one standard core book okay so what does that mean right so first of all let's say take your physical anthropology right so for physical anthropology the standard book i told us peanut right so if, if there is a, if there is any topic like dole's law or uh, like you know the edward syndrome or some other topics right so first if you take dole's law you make the notes from the peanut right you make notes from peanut so after that if i tell you to read another book like shukla and rastogi right so the same dole's law will be there in that book also right so the same content which uh, which is present in peanut will be there in the shukla and rastogi also 
right so here what you have to do is whatever you have written from the peanut please don't write that content so whichever is not there in the peanut so some points extra points maybe shukla and rasdogi book may be containing right please add those points okay so then only your notes will become more rich and comprehensive okay so one thing so peanut is a standard book right so please one standard core book that is peanut please make notes from the peanut and add relevant content from other books and from internet or something like that relevant content relevant mean which is relevant to your dose of that content you need to add again you should not write from the first so the same content will be present in those books also but some extra content or some extra points will be present if you refer other books those extra points only you have to make in your notes this is what is how you have to make the notes okay so in this way if you make the notes obviously your notes will become very rich and comprehensive okay guys got it so now the most important tip to score 300 plus in anthropology is especially in your physical anthropology if you are writing a physical anthropology question then it is good if you just draw a diagram like this okay just a simple diagram uh for drawing a diagrams uh, there is no need to be uh, learning you you are you are no you are not at all an artist no need to draw like a artist okay just a simple and a rough diagram okay in this manner you can just draw if you draw like this there is a higher scope you get more marks okay so that is the case with your physical anthropology so if you are writing the social anthropology so in this particular case to get more marks the thing is you have to write more examples more tribal examples especially international tribal examples okay international tribals okay so if you write this international tribal examples then you can score good marks it is the most important tip right so for physical anthropology please draw diagrams it may be not only this particular diagrams you can even draw tree diagrams also okay you can even draw certain tree diagrams venn diagrams anything or a mind map kind of thing okay so you can draw this kind of diagram to show the differentiation between the primates and all so if you do like this you can get more marks you know examiner will get impressed and for the socio cultural anthropology what happens is you need to use international tribes then the examiner feel oh this guy knows very much right so in this way you can uh, gain more marks in anthropology by using these simple simple tips okay and in your exam please score as many questions from the physical anthropology okay so please don't leave any physical anthropology question unanswered okay so why why because physical anthropology questions are very very scoring so uh, you know if you just write those 10 points relevant let's say if you are talking about edwards syndrome so why this syndrome occurs if you write just this uh, that 10 to 15 points you can score high marks in it okay the examiner will never cut off the marks okay so it is it is not biased or something right it is a science kind of a thing so you can score very high marks in this particular physical anthropology and if you just draw diagrams a simple diagrams uh, any rough diagrams also there are high chances that you score high marks okay so guys please never never leave physical anthropology questions because this will increase your score okay so now what is the role of current affairs in this anthropology right so in anthropology the role of current affairs is very very minimal okay it's only minimal i'm not saying not to read you have to read right so if you are talk writing about the tribes and tribal problems and all there you have to add your current affairs if any tribes is in use and all and in your genetics part especially right in your genetics also you have to add current affairs like your human genome project so there was a latest uh, things discovered like crispr cas9 technology how it is essential for the genetics so only on certain level like only on certain topics okay so in this level you have to prepare current affairs but it is not that much hectic that you need to go on preparing current affairs no it is mostly static but only on certain areas it is better if you add current affairs this will add more marks here also you can get more advantage if you add on the latest things that were happening in science or in the tribal world or if any tribes is suffering because of any problem so these kind of things if you see in any newspaper if you have studied please note it down and please write it in your answers okay 
then you will score good marks okay and it is one of the important strategy also to score 300 plus okay so guys each and every student uh, will score around 210 220 and all right so uh, the student uh, who makes this extra effort only will can gain 300 plus okay so this is an important tip so please note down the latest technologies that were coming in the science and also the the tribals who are in the news and all these things okay guys so next most important tip to gain 300 plus is whatever answers you are writing your answer should be like a specialist okay an expert perspective okay whatever answer you are writing you should write from the anthropological point of view not from the general point of view okay so this is most important so and other thing is if you are discussing about marriage you should not write from a general perspective what is marriage is and all you should write from an anthropological perspective what this particular anthropologist or what this melinowski who is an anthropologist told about marriage okay and what did tyler told about marriage and in what aspects tyler has criticized the marriage okay in this way you have to use the anthropologist perspective and you need to quote their examples and all so completely you have to write your answer from the specialist that is anthropological perspective okay this perspective is important then only your answer will become a complete expert or a specialist kind of an answer okay then the examiner will feel very good okay this person knows anthropology very well okay so guys this is a most important tip tip you know most of the students will make mistake writing from the general point of view okay so please don't write it from the general point of view plus please write it from the anthropological point of view okay so melinowski criticized like this and tyler has told like this okay you need to write definitions criticisms introductions and all these things you know from the anthropological perspective okay guys so this is the most important tip and this is how where you get 300 plus in anthropology okay so the next most important tip is while writing your second paper especially if you are writing your second paper so in this particular paper if you are writing about tribal examples and all so about the tribal problems and all if you are writing so first of all you need to quote the case studies so for example in orissa the vedanta resources have gone and you know there were a lot of tribals have displaced so you need to quote those case studies okay if you quote your case studies as an examples then you are, there are high chances that you can score 300 plus in anthropology please don't write bluntly okay whatever about the tribal displacement if you are writing if you are writing about the tribal problems and all these things so please quote the case studies this particular thing has happened okay this particular case study has happened so this is what is the problems that the tribals are facing okay so please quote the case studies if you quote there are high chances that you score 300 plus okay guys so guys finally i want to tell you one thing that most of the toppers choose this anthropology as an optional why they'll choose this anthropology is because it is very brief and easy if you see the syllabus it's very very easy very very brief okay so you can there is no point of going in depth or no point of going out of syllabus these kind of things will not happen with anthropology okay and if you observe the last 10 year question papers there was a lot of repetition of previous year questions okay lot of repetition and most important thing is it is very easy to complete the syllabus within four months you can easily complete the syllabus okay it is not that much tough and i think there is no person on this planet who cannot understand anthropology right who it is very easy it is not it is not a technical subject where you have to uh, do some brainstorming and all it's not like a technical subject so each and every person can understand anthropology okay and moreover it is very high scoring okay so that's why many of the toppers choose this as their optional okay so they can easily uh, score good marks and it is very easy to score 300 plus in this optional and moreover the rate of return whatever you invest time on this or time or money on this optional it will give you more returns okay so that's why most of the toppers choose this as an as their optional and i think you all are aware of the anudeep durishetty right so he has changed first his option was public administration and then he got changed to anthropology see this is the easiest nature of the anthropology you can easily score 300 plus guys okay so thank you guys hope you understand and have a nice day bye bye